I'm Harold Enger from Spring Green Lawn Care, and today I'm going to tell you a little bit about fire ants. Now, fire ants uh, were brought into the United States in the early 20th century uh, in through the southern seaports of Alabama, Mississippi, and they have slowly worked their way north. They have the potential to go into the state of uh, New York. They have the potential to go all the way up along the um, western seaboard, all the way up as far as Seattle. Now, um, they're not there yet, but they do have the potential. And as you can see here, there's a fire ant mound here. There's a fire ant mound here. And then there's another one all the way over here. These ants uh, often make tunnels underground, and these three can all be connected into one big colony. In fact, there may be other areas in this lawn that we just haven't seen um, a mound being developed. They will take several years, three to four years of, of uh, building before they ever get to this point. The queen has flown or will fly around, find a place to uh, mate, and she will tunnel in the ground where she starts laying her eggs. The eggs hatch and they start um, tending to the queen, and as she produces more and more uh, young worker ants, they will continue to get larger and larger. But it can take a several years, like I said, three to four years before you start even seeing mounds. And they can get up to two or three feet high in, uh, in undisturbed areas. You can find them in all sorts of different lawns. You can find them in like cable television boxes, inside of air conditioning vents, air conditioning uh, boxes. They could be a real problem. Now, uh, fire ants can be controlled. There are many different products that you can use for that. But remember, there's a lot of different types of ants. And um, the reason why these guys are called fire ants, because if they sting you or they bite you, basically, they will leave a uh, welt, a, um, oh, it's like a blister that you will see on your, your hand or your arm or your finger, wherever. Very painful and can last several days. Whereas with regular ants, they might just be, pinch you a little bit, might hurt for a minute, but then it goes away. You know, if you get a fire ant bite, you will know it because it really hurts. So you don't want to get these uh, in your backyard, especially if you have a lot of children. So if you want to get more information on fire ants, contact your neighborhood spring green professional or visit my Ask the Expert blog at spring-green.com.